and good afternoon. Good afternoon. I finally decided I'm going to do a podcast, put my big girl pants on and just get going. So hello and welcome and come on in. <laughs> um, welcome, welcome. I am Karen from Stitches and Jacks. I'd like to say hello to all my original subscribers and I'd like to say a big welcome to the new subscribers. Um, I did March vlogs, I didn't plan to do it, I just kind of fell into it. I actually had a ball, <laughs> I actually had a ball and if you haven't seen the vlogs just go back and um, have a look and I managed to vlog every single day 31 days solidly and even though about halfway through I wasn't very well um, I just kind of had the lurgy um weren't sure whether it's covid we did a couple of tests and it wasn't and um I'm still I haven't been right <laughs> I haven't been right since but there's a lot of people that say that I'm not right <laughs> anyway um so yes just oh, I think I just got a virus I think I got the lurgy of one of the my grandsons so it's my fault for um, kissing and cuddling them I'm just in a different direction from where I normally sit. I'm up in my kind of craft craft room um, and I'm sitting on the floor. That's why I'm probably bending down. <laughs> um, so yeah, March vlogs, they went really well, went really well. And that has really boosted my confidence. So thank you. Thank you very much for everybody that watched me, that left me lovely messages, that liked them. Um, and thank you for those people that have been commenting since I haven't vlogged. Um, yeah, just checking in on me and asking if I'm okay. And I am, um, as I say, don't know what it was. But I think like many people, I've got no immune system, so it's just run down. So I've been on like, um, I don't know, what am I on? Um, I was a bit worried. I think I was quite open with it on my vlog. And I said that um, I was going to go to the doctor's. Um, and get checked out to see if I've got diabetes because I've put on quite a lot of weight and it's all my fault whatever I say it is my fault I am the gatekeeper <laughs> and I'm not um I don't want to go on about it but um yes yeah, so I started to lose weight I, I take blood pressure tablets and one of the side effects of those is that you can't um you can't lose weight you, it makes you regain weight and I can see over the 20 years I've been on them about 20 years that I have like put on the weight plus my age plus the fact that my husband's home and well we cook totally differently I went out yesterday I went to get my nails done and the eyebrows so yeah make sure you admire those <laughs> um and I'd got the sea bass out and put that on the side and I'd phoned him to say that I was on my way home and he was like Oh, okay. And he didn't sound um, right. I said, oh, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, yeah. He said, I didn't realise you'd got the fish out. I said, like, okay, lovey. He said, I've started cooking. He said, I said, oh, that's fine. We'll have them tomorrow. When I got in, I had sausage, egg and chips. So my choice was sea bass and his choice was sausage, egg and chips. And I really wanted to be mad because that's like high calories and not good calories either. But it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> So there we are, there we are. But enough of that, enough of that. So I'm back, I'm determined that I'm going to carry on with my podcasting and I just need to do it more regularly because like anything, if you don't do it, it becomes harder and harder. Um, and I was just looking back, I think actually I've only podcast two or three times since the new year. And the last podcast was an update of my whips. Um, I'm not very technically minded, so when my camera gets full up, I don't quite know what to do. So I always have to ask my husband, and it's a big like chore or whatever. We won't talk about that. Um, so I think I had 11 whips um, left over from Christmas. No pressure on myself to get them finished. Um, I wanted I want to finish all of them, and that is what I'm intending to do. So I have... So what I've decided to do, what I've decided to do, I've got a lot of stuff to share, and... I thought I'll do my socks and then I'll do my crochet um, and I'm quite excited about that and then I'll do my knitting rather than show you everything all at once and it'd be like a real long rambly podcast. Hopefully this will be a little bit more um, constructive, constrained. <laughs> um, so I have two finished objects and two of those are on my 2021 
from my 2021 whip so that means that I'm down to nine so my first project I'm not sure if I showed you but I'll just go over these really quickly were the zigzaggy socks so there they are beautiful beautiful and these are by Emma Potter from Potter and Bloom um, and these were my Strictly um, socks and as I say I didn't get these finished till I think January so they're in my house in my lovely Stri Strictly sock along bag that were made by Gemma from Asprey Designs and the yarn is hand dyed and it's ah oh, that's where it is <laughs> right I'm going to put this on now so that I won't lose it Oh, I've lost the right. I've lost the label. It's from Sherry Iris, and it's the Avalanche colorway, and that's what it looks like skeined up. Well, can you hear those dogs? I've lost them in the downstairs loo. I've forgotten. We just had a parcel delivered, so that's what that's what it looks like. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And these are my socks. So I've knitted these cuff down I'm just looking to see if I've got a sock blocker because I think I don't think I've made a mistake on the pattern it's nothing to do with the pattern it's purely me I think I might have chosen the wrong colour socks is that right the wrong yeah to do these because I can't quite see the zigzags But they are absolutely lovely. So it's they were cuffed down, um, the heel flap and gusset, which I, I absolutely love. And I knit mine on DPNs 2.25 and um, a 50, is that 50? I think that's 50. Is that 50 rows or 40 rows? Yeah, I think that's 50 and I think that's that's 40. And then a wedge, um, a wedge shaped toe. So I really like those. Um, but I, th I don't know whether they look as if they're a slight colour or whether it was just me not having the right glasses on as per normal if you've been here um, for a while. So they were my Strictly socks for 2021. 20, Strictly's coming back this year and I cannot believe that it's going to be 20 years. I have been to see them on tour. Um, oh, it was probably when, when it was sort of first, first happened about 2020. No, 20, it started in 20, 2002, is that how you say it? I think we might have gone at 2004 or 2006. So that's, that's my, that was my first finished pair. So my second pair of socks, I haven't got the ball band, so I don't quite know where that is. That's very unusual for me. But um, it's by Nora George and it's called Jane Eyre, which is my very favourite, favourite book. And I've just finished rereading it. My birthday is in January, so I decided to have a birthday cast on. And this was a perfect sock for me. So this is her Jane Eyre colourway. And I think I might have had this in my stash since... 2019 2020 it's just beautiful it was just one of those I thought oh I don't want to use it it's too precious but it's just been silly um and the pattern is um called the gentle the gentle reader and I will find out um who it's by and I'll put those in the show notes below so this is a pair of socks that I knitted aren't they lovely I've, um, I've blocked them, but I've not sewn that in. Let me just put that on the sock block for you to have a look at. Put this one on. Oh, you can tell I'm a little bit out of practice, can't you? Okay. All right, let's turn it around. I'll just run, run downstairs. Why do I run downstairs? Oh, to get my to get my book. And the dogs are barking downstairs. They're in the downstairs toilet. I'd forgotten that they were in. And then my husband came in, I was like, oh, and it was chaos. And then I was looking for my lip gloss. <laughs> Try and look my best for you guys. So that looks massive, that sock. But there we are. So it's um it was cuffed down construction. So I've done a two by two, 
two by two rib. Um, it's a slip stitch heel. And then what I really liked was this garter. Um, you know, these two or three rows, two or three stitches rather, of, um, of garter stitches by the heel. I just think it gives a, a really nice, really nice effect. And then it's like a faux cable. Is that is that the right expression? Oh, pull it out this way. Yeah. Going down. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Where? Where's my foot? I wonder if Fred's been in here and uh, pinched my foot. <laughs> so that's what it looks like on the front. And it's just lovely. Just lovely. Very simple. Very elegant. So yes, so really, really like this colourway. And these are so soft, so soft. So that was a new cast on, but finished in January. Um, so yeah, so it was really nice to you know, have a project that um, reminded me of my favourite book that made me go and dig out my copy. I thought I'd got two copies, like an older copy, just... Um, but that just disappeared. I don't know where that's gone. But I had, so I had a hardback and enjoyed reading that. So that's those two. Right. Just bear with me a minute. I'll put all this away. Right. Um, so they're away and they're living, they're living in my lovely Emma Ball bag. Yeah, Emma Ball. Look at those, all those lovely ladies knitting away as if they're on knit night, knit, knit and natter. That's me probably. <laughs> so then my well there were two pairs that no one was a finish and one was a new cast on and this is a new cast on and I was working on these through March who if you had watched my March blogs you would have seen and part of the reason I wanted to come on and speak to you about my socks is last year I set myself the challenge of um, being able to knit a pair of socks, cuff down or toe up. So it didn't matter what the pattern would be. And that works. And I've managed to, well, yes, I can say that I've mastered now a, a toe up. So that's fine. Um, so what did I want to do this year to um Increase increase my sock knowledge to improve improve my skills. And it's always good to set yourself a challenge. That's my word for this year is to challenge challenge myself. So I thought, right, what I would like to do is I would like to um, challenge myself to learn a few more heels. I do like the heel flap and gusset, but I wanted to do the afterthought heel. So lo and behold, perfect pattern come up. So this these were the Bloom and Grow socks by Becky Norman. Absolutely beautiful. She's got her own um, podcast as well, um, Bex, Bex Creates. And these were part of the Spring um, Equisox Cow, which for some reason I thought was going on till April. So I'd finished them, but I hadn't um, entered them. So that was a bit silly. So I chose an old favourite. Oh, none of my... Um, skeins in here so it was a mr b yarn and i haven't written down what the colorway was oh that's so annoying that is so annoying right so let me just show you it's on a sock blocker so you can get an idea it was absolutely beautiful um anybody that watched me on march blogs would know that i did i had forgotten that there was a left and a right sock so i think i'd knitted one pair and then I was halfway up the other and I was like oh I'm doing really well really well um, and then realized, realized my mistake so here they are so this is my very first very first afterthought heel and I was just a bit petrified you know I was like oh my word what to do what to do I decided to um put my needles in put my needle in I used a on one of them I used a four ply yarn to mark it and then and then carries on. Um, my understanding now for afterthought heels is that it's a style of heel that's used if you don't know who you're knitting for, like if you're going to measure their feet, or for stripy socks. 
um, and if you don't want to interrupt um, the stripe. So yeah, so I'm very, very pleased with these. The pattern is just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I should have looked from the foot. Yeah, really lovely, really lovely. So they were really um, lovely knits. They were, are they my February socks? They were February socks. I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit discombobulated because we had people, well, people, I had my stepson, had my stepson and, um, you know, his partner and the baby came up um, to stay for the second time. So we saw him in February and then we saw him um, for March and they came, oh, they didn't, they came for Easter, they came Good Friday and they went home on the Wednesday after. So we had a really good um, time, time with them. And oh my word, he's grown. He has grown. And it's just really lovely. It's just lovely to have them here, even though I wasn't feeling 100%. And funny enough, um, yeah, my, my daughter-in-law wasn't feeling 100%. So we were just sort of were commiserating with each other and drinking, drinking down Prosecco. <laughs> so these are the socks. I shouldn't be telling you all my secrets, should I? Yeah. So this is a really beautiful pattern, a really beautiful pattern. So can you imagine knitting these for yourself or even for a gift? Oops. Yeah, so lovely. Really lovely. Yeah. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. I will put on um, the bottom of the screen what the colourway is because I find it really annoying. <laughs> I'm so ill-prepared, shall we say. Ill-prepared. So that is March's pair. I had to show you, didn't I? I always find that funny when the podcasters say, and here's the other one, just to show you that there are two. They don't look like they've been blocked, but I thought they were. And this is in my lovely bag that was a birthday present from my friend um, Lindsay at Stitch Create Love. Isn't that beautiful? She's so clever, so clever. So that's that one. Right, let's put the... This way. Oh, I do feel I do feel in a bit of a mess. Oh. No, these well, these are the ones that are my Christmas Eve sock, and there's a story behind them. And I'm going to tell you whether you want to hear it or not. Um, I go to Black Sheet Walls in Warrington, and they they sell predominantly commercial commercial yarn, and they have a fabulous selection. And I went with a friend. We were both like, oh, should we? One of us said to the other one, oh, shall I treat you? And then the other one said, oh, no, shall I treat you? And then we were looking around to what we would treat each other. And then we decided that we would buy ourselves, buy a kit. We'd each buy our own kit um, and we would knit them together. And if there was any problems or um, anything, you know, or we could just knit along, and say, oh, isn't this lovely? Whatever. So, yeah, that's not quite how it worked out. <laughs> because. Let me show you the pattern first of all, and then you know what I'm talking about. I've never knitted anything like this before, and it's um, Shapier's yarn. Did I pronounce that right? You have to let me know, Dawn, put a comment in down below. And these are the Twisted Socks by Jane Burns, and they are there. And they are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And this project is one of my 2021 whips because it was my Christmas Eve cast off. And I thought after I had vlogged for December um, that I could crack open the Prosecco when I'd finished and I could just sort of cast these on. Yeah. It's way too much Prosecco. One or two glasses. Not one or two bottles, one or two glasses. And there were... <sighs> I haven't knitted a lot of charted socks and it was just sat down and there was a chart for the front of the sock, chart for the back and then I was knitting two colours. All in all, it wasn't complicated. But I think when you're tired, it all, sounds, it all seems a lot more complicated than what it is. So I've picked these up again. And this is, this is where I am. Well, I'm on the second sock. Shall I show you the first sock? Let's just check. This is the right sock blocker. I still feel that's a bit big. I'm sitting on ten ton of. I'm sitting on ten ton of stuff here. And I'm moaning away. <laughs> well, I've been a bit grumpy the last few weeks. Not very good. 
if I can't do what I want to do in the sense of I've not been I've not been like properly ill but I just had like lack of energy and oh and then to compound the problem mouth ulcers so that shows that I'm um run down so this is the first pair it seems a bit crinkled here but I haven't blocked these yet how gorgeous are they oh my word I have got a little hole there because I've not fixed it yet don't quite know what I've done that's like yeah but beautiful absolutely beautiful and the cable pattern here's the cable pattern look at them. oops <laughs> I'm all attached <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just checking the stitches on. Aren't falling off. Oh, my word. I absolutely love it. So you cast on, and I really like this, just this one yeah, one round of colour, and then you go into the... Is it one? Well, no, it's, it's... Depends where you are. One by one or two, or two by two twist. I think that's two by two. And then the cable start. Then you go into the pattern... And then you go up a little bit and then you go into the heel. But I just felt it was a bit too short. So I added 10 more rows on for that. And then this morning I sat there and I've done a slip, slip stitch heel. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. And this is knitted in, and I've never used this yarn before either. This is um, oh, tags. So this is the Shapiers Met Metropolis. Is it Metropolis, yeah. Well, that's. Can you see it? Mm. There. Can you see? I think so. I think so. They're beautiful. They really are. My daughter was asking me who they're for. So I said me. <laughs> I've done all this work in. So they're, they're the three colours. And my friend has got exactly the same. So they are lovely. Absolutely lovely. So I've got to get these finished for Saturday because I want to put them into um, Dear Designs. Um, Denise from Dear Designs is running a sock along. Um, and it's Year of the Socks 2022. I'll make sure that I put that down here so that um, I've got all the, de all the details right. I'm knitting these on DPNs 2.25 um, and they're lovely. And she, funny enough, um, knitted the um, spring the spring socks, the blue and grow socks that I knitted because she'd been watching me, bless her. And um, she liked the pattern, so that was good. But unlike me, she didn't make a mistake with her legs. She just... Um, read the pan properly <laughs> and then so I have that that on the go at the moment and then I have another um, um, sock on the go I wanted to learn how to do the afterthought heel so that I could um, you know either do the stripe socks or I could knit a tube, and that's what I quite like, having something, just one thing that I could have, um, and I could just take it with me wherever I was going. There's no rush to finish it. So I'm knitting a sock tube. I'm not sure whether I've started it right, but I'll show you the yarn first of all. So this is a Rico design. And this has been in my stash, but I got it in the sale. And this is a pair of blue... Um, I did them for charity last year, but I think they were supposed to be yellow and I didn't realise. So I've still got them. So I'm intending to donate the blue ones and I might donate these or I might give them to my friend. Um, because she was laughing at me at learning how to knit socks a few years ago. Um, and I thought it might be nice to make her a pair and then she can find out how lovely they are. But first of all, I need a recipe. So this is what I'm doing. So I'm not sure whether you're supposed to, when you do your sock tube, whether you're supposed to put a cuff on or not, whether that's personal preference. But this is how they're knitting up. So I've been knitting on and off for these. I've only got me, I haven't had a manicure and a pedicure yesterday. Um, and that's how much I knitted from there to there. 
so we were gassing too much um the lovely girl that does my must does my um nails she's so lovely um and she yeah i've known her for a long time um she was a friend of my daughter's at school so yeah we were just having a, a catch up and I'm not saying gossip, we were just like talking about ourselves, not about anybody else. <laughs> I don't do that kind of thing. But yeah, so I think they're quite nice. So I'm just going to keep going. And then I've got to work out how much yarn I'd need to do a cuff on the other end. But I don't know how many socks I'll get out there. Whether I'll get two pairs of socks out of there or whether I'll get um, a pair of socks and a pair of shorties. I don't know. Um, I'm aiming to do the toe and the heel in um, a contrasting colour. But yeah, no, they're quite nice, aren't they? They are nice. So, yes. <laughs> so, they're on uh, 2.25. The um, My little sock bag, or my little project bag uh, from Moon Mouse. Look how gorgeous this is. As soon as I saw her, I thought, oh, my word. I'll take my glass. Should I take my glass? Oh, better? oh, no, is that better? Or is that better? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but I thought she was so gorgeous, I had to get her. And I forgot to show you my other project bag this was a friend this was a gift from the friend who is making the same socks as me but isn't that lovely this it's beautiful it's so big and roomy but i love big bags so that's where i am at the moment and i have got some yeah yarny ideas Hello, I thought I'd just share my socks that I made as part of the Rainbow Chronicles um, socks for 2021. As I'm just looking at my sock journey and having a review really and looking at where I want to go next. In the corner, there's my little Bronte princess. As always, she has a chew. So these are the socks and it starts from January last year and I will perhaps go over them in a little bit more detail. Uh, the Rainbow Chronicles was run by Jules of So Sweet Violet and Kelly at Lay Family Yarn and it was they set a rainbow colour for nine months of the year and for the last three you could choose what you wanted to do so it was sort of a set colour and your interpretation. So January's February's, March, April, May, June, and then July, August, September. They were gifted and very, very well received. October, November, and December. These two pairs of socks were also gifted at Christmas to my daughters and I took them back because I was going to um, do a podcast and talk about my socks and then I chickened out so I need to get this get this sorted let me just show you all my leftovers from Rainbow Sock Chronicles if I can show you ta -da. <laughs> aren't they lovely really lovely so I want to um, use all those up as well. So I'll just show you very quickly. Um, these were the first pair that I knitted last year. These were cuff down and these are the seasonal fruits with a mock, mock cable pattern by Lindsay from Stitch Create Love with... Um, What here was that? A German short reel, German short reel, German short row heel. <laughs> so they're okay, but I think I need a bit more practice. I've got another pair that are that are worse than that. These were oh, and the yarn is from um, West Green Loft Yarns, um, and I think it's called. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I'm terrible, aren't I? Right, I'll write the list and I'll put it in the in the description uh, description box below. So West Green Loft yarn, love her yarn, love her yarn. 
This is um, Hokey Lokey Tellies, um, cables down the back, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And they were cuffed down, these were for, from February, and the yarn is Mr and Mrs Rabbits, and it's Claire's red dress. And in the, in the um, TV, uh, the Netflix series, she comes down, ready for dressed ready for a ball, and it's absolutely beautiful red dress. So they were also a test, a test knit. These were a test knit as well. And they are the candy floss, candy floss socks. And these were for March. And this yarn is from West Green Loft Yarn. And it's called, I want to say Mabel. I might have to put it down on the screen below. Um, but I loved it so much. I ordered a second I ordered an, a second skein this these were from April this is an Andrew Murray pattern and the yarn is just beautiful I'll just put it down below but they are yeah just lovely look at those look at that pattern isn't that just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so yeah I'll need to put those down below I should have uh, um these were a test knit these were for blue fern yarns and um i said to her, i was doing the april doing the rainbow chronicles and the color was green would it be right for me to do it in a commercial yarn so she said yes that's fine and these are the sandy ripple um socks and they're beautiful so this pair and this pair were christmas presents and i've had them back and they've been on my bed so this was, oh, I seem to have some missing. Um, so what have I got? January, February, March, April, May. So June, this is my hand-dyed um, yarn that I span myself. And this is um, Becky Norman's pattern. So they were cuffed down as well. But I'll put these all down below and I will show them in chronological order. I thought I was going to stutter then, hold on. When I feel comfortable enough to tell you now, when I stutter, it's because when I was young, this, this, yeah, this, there was a certain person in my family that would always um, take the mickey out of me, make me feel really, really uncomfortable. Um, that person is no longer around now. They are, yeah, they no, are no longer alive, shall I say. So I'm comfortable enough sharing that with you. And that's why I can get in a bit of a, my mouth goes really dry still. Funny how these things just, um, stay with you isn't it um these were my july socks um and these are oh crumbs i should have written it all down shouldn't i look at those aren't they beautiful these are such a beautiful pattern it's by we shutter monkey so that's an eye partridge heel the detail i've never i'd never done this design before these were testing it as well these are beautiful absolutely beautiful I'm trying to remember who the yarn was by. This might be Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit. Rather than me to fluff about trying to find it, these were a test knit and these were August. August. Um, and these were the fur cone socks. Um, and these were top down. These were blue fern yarns. Yeah, look. Um, and I think this is blue fern yarn colourway. I think it's yeah i don't know <laughs> they're so beautiful that i missed the pattern again for my daughter-in-law um she really liked them and they're sitting over there and i gave it to her in december so i dropped a stitch well how do you how do you never see it it's very rare that I drop stitches i'm gonna go away now and i'm gonna drop all my stitches tonight but how is it you give something to somebody and then you see like perhaps a stitch that you've dropped and you never saw it before so i just need to sew that in these I copied, no, I didn't copy, well, yeah, I did. But I say I was influenced, that's a nice way of saying it, isn't it? Um, um, Clara Pagatty um, from Sheep and Cheerful. And she made these, she made these, I made these 2021, 20, so she made them 2020. 20, and these are lacy socks, and I'll put it down below these for October. And these were from Craft House Magic. So I bought the yarn. And I had to find a book and buy the book. And it's just beautiful. Look at these. 
really lovely really lovely so I need to see if I can get some nice photographs and just show you properly um, so I'd waited a whole year to knit those so they're they are lovely and then these were so they were my October these were my November um, and these are the coffee talk socks by Tracy Tracy Miller from the grocery girls and I'd had this in my stash um, since must have been 2020 I'd ordered it and it came over and it the yarn is just beautiful absolutely beautiful yeah lovely pattern lovely lovely pattern and I would never have um, put that maybe put that gold on but I certainly wouldn't have done that but that's in the, that is in the pattern and I love it absolutely love it yeah absolutely love it I was just thinking I've got gold on there but I haven't got gold on there oh my word I never noticed that so I've obviously done a bit of the toe rounded toe wedge toe oh isn't that weird oh well another pair for me <laughs> oh isn't that weird I never noticed that never noticed that yeah but also a lapse in concentration and then finally I when I was doing when I was doing the um vlogmas wasn't I? I was doing vlogmas and I just thought I want to do my 12 pair of socks for the Rainbow Chronicles and I just want to do an easy striped pair um and sometimes when you've got a lot of pressure on simplicity is the best key and they were just beautiful and these are by Oh, Dragon Hill Studios. This was the pair that I was trying to remember when I was telling you. So, yeah. So, would you like to look at my pile? See if I can hold them up nicely so you can see what I've made. Look at all those socks. Aren't they lovely? Yeah. So, I'll just, yeah, I'll grab the other socks I knitted from mainly commercial yarn I think it's all yeah it's from commercial yarn and then um I can just show you those quickly what was I going to say I think I need a glass of water I need a glass of something um right let me just do that you'll see a pair to start off with these are my Yarndale socks but I have worn these I've worn them and blocked them um oh I can tell I've just tripped over those so they're um, West Yorkshire Spinners. That was a test knit and it was toe up. These were my Christmas in July socks for my husband. He's got really big feet. So, um, and they were at West Yorkshire Spinners as well. This was my um, charity knit that I was going to do, but I didn't read the instructions properly and it was supposed to be in yellow, so that was no good. So I've kept them and I intend to um, gift them from charity. So I'm wondering about using that blue in the pink for the toes and the cuffs on those socks. This is my Dragon Hill Studio socks, my patriotic socks. I will need those um, in June to wear. And then these are the two pairs of socks that I knitted, the carousel socks. So I knitted them cuff down and then I did another pair and toe up. But my heel on this pair is not the best. Um, and these are socks that I needed for my darling uh, daughter-in-law out of the commercial Leon. Another pair of socks that I knitted here. Um, and this is a West Yorkshire Spinners that I probably wear top down. And um, these were the Christmas socks as well that I, I knitted. Um, I think I must have started those. I don't know if it's before Christmas or just after Christmas and finished them sort of New Year just after. Right, I'm back. Um, just went and I had, my, I had my dinner. Mr. Jack's had cooked, so I was called down for dinner. Um, so my leftovers of my commercial yarn. Dinner. Oh, let's put that back. Can you see that? Well, oh, caught my bless. Can you see that basket? Oh, it's coming out. It's determined, isn't it? That basket of loveliness. It's all coming out now. So they're all my leftovers. And these are all my beautiful 
socks in no particular order. So West Yorkshire Spinners, Yarndale, 20, 21. West Yorkshire Spinners, I think these were a test knit and these were toe up for Wee Shuttle Monkey. So they're lovely. These were my Christmas in July socks for my husband. And he's got massive feet, size 12 feet. West Yorkshire Spinners, again. Um, these were my charity socks for last year. Mary Curie. But I didn't realise they're supposed to be yellow. <laughs> so they are going to be donated um, this year to a charity. These are my Dragon Hill Studios um, stock socks called Fly Past. And I'll need these in June for our Queen's Jubilee, Platinum Jubilee. These are Cuff Down. And this is a German short reel heel. And this is where I don't think that that is very good. So I need some practice on that mm. this if i remember rightly i was using um the beautiful knit pro wooden needles and it snapped on me i'm sure they were these and then these i did these top same pattern so i think they were a test knit for lindsay the carousel socks lovely lovely pattern and the beauty of lindsay's patterns is she always gives you cuff down and toe up instructions so you can make them whatever way you want. And if you want to have a go at the opposite way, then you can, can do it. It's two patterns in one. So these are toe up. And this was West Yorkshire Spinners uh, Candy Floss. I think the heel's slightly better. So obviously you, you improve. Yeah, you improve over time. That's better. But I didn't quite like working with this particular yarn, even though I've used West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, yeah, it just it just seemed to be a bit thin. A bit thin. Um, and then these are the socks for my darling daughter-in-law. These are the fur, fur cone socks um, for um, blue fern yarns. Blue fern yarns. So beautiful. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And this was this Rico, Rico design, I think. It's a new sock yarn. Now, let me look in my bag. In my, in my uh, yeah, um, that's what it is. Absolutely superb. I think this is slightly thicker than the West Yorkshire spinners. I thoroughly enjoyed um, using using those. So I'd like to do like um, a scrappy sock. So yes, I enjoyed those. And then this was West Yorkshire spinners. I can't remember the name for that. It's just a pair of vanilla and I think these were toe up as well. And these might have been for Wee Shuttle Monkey. She's got some lovely patterns, and this is about three or four of hers. And then these are my tinsel socks, vintage tinsel. That just reminds me of Quality Street, just reminds me of my nana. So, oh, there's hairs on them. <laughs> um, so I had those, and then I was thinking, right, okay, well, I've got my yarn leftovers. Let me get one bag. Oh, sorry if I'm too close to the camera. So that was my leftover. I was thinking, right, okay, so I need to get a blue. So I bought this, and it's the wrong blue. This is more of a royal blue, so it's more of a turquoisey blue. So I could do that with those. So I bought, I've bought some um, commercial yarn. So there, there my socks. So you can see I was on like a real oh, sock kick last year. So I'm not, it's not, I'm not keen to make socks. I am keen to make socks, but if I keep doing one or two pairs a year even though i do gift some of them i'm going to end up with way too many socks to knit so i think i need to be a bit more um thoughtful about what i choose i'm really happy that i'm going to look at different heels this year so yes so -da! can i hold it like that is it all going to fall <gasps> oh my word will that be a thumbnail i don't know i don't know Right, so I just have some patterns that I would like to attempt this year. And um, one of the ones I want to do is by Winwick Mum, and it's called the Easy Mosaic Socks. They were all over Instagram 
just amazing. And normally I'd have been like, oh, what's another one? What's another one? Cast on, I cast on. But I'm not going to do it because I don't have to get in that race. Um, I wasn't in a place where I could just pick them up. I'd got other socks on my needles. Um, and I think I had, was it three or four at one time? And it was just, that was too much for me. I can cope with like two. <laughs> so um, I've gone and bought the, this marshmallow, West Yorkshire Spinners marshmallow. And what's this one? Oh, autumn leaves. So I think they will be lovely. Will be lovely. I've seen Davina, um, hers. And then this was the oh for Valentine's Day. Um, this is what I wanted to do. This is from um, the lady that the kitchen sink shop. She, um, yeah, she does the dishcloths. Um, and this is four ply. I put a double knit by because I thought Dawn was knitting the same socks but she she was knitting a similar pair in DK so I do want to do those and I think they're straight cuffed down. Um, I want to have a go at a pair of colour socks and I've seen these and these are by Penrose Knits and they look really really lovely so I'd like to have a go at those and then I've been gifted this absolutely beautiful pattern um, and I think these are cuffed down as well. Look at the lace detail on those. Oh, they're beautiful. And that's who the buy. That one hasn't got a picture on. Oh, and then Liberty Lace. Isn't that lovely? And I think I've got some Liberty Yarn by Mr. And Mrs. Rabbit. So I want to do those. And then I've got the Tangled Socks, which are by Vicky Bird. And the yarn is, oh, the yarn's four ply. And that's got a cabled, if you can, can you make that out? Yeah, cabled heel. So I thought that would be quite an interesting um, construction. I'll have a go at those. What else have I got? Oh, these were, these were big last year. Um, these are by the Earth Tone Girl, Denise. Um, sock polarization, the Shadow Wrap Heel. So it's like a vanilla, a vanilla sock. And that's got the shadow wrap heel, so I want to have a go at that. I think I also bought the No Fear ones for those. And then, excuse me, sniffing. Um, I've got a DK sock pattern by Helen Stewart, and they're called the Homebody Socks. And they were actually knitted, funny enough, in Lay Family Yarn DK, and I've got a beautiful um, red and turquoise, I think. So I thought they might be quite nice to, um, to do those. some sock yarn so I have uh, anybody that's perhaps a quilter um, or a sewer will know um, of Stuart Hillard um, he's brought he's in a collaboration with um, Starcraft and they're called Colours of the World which makes me think of the Spice Girls look at that isn't that beautiful so that's his new yarn out so he's got a few um, and that's the pattern that it will create so I've got those, they might be just like a vanilla with a heel. And then I've bought these. I'm really these these are on bamboo, and these are by the Rico, Rico Designs. So I've got that one as well. And then <coughs> I really like this um Tweedy sock. So um yes. I just picked these up and realised I bought these thinking I'll make these for my daughter. She's due to have a baby in May. So I think we've got, yeah, it's not long now. So I need to get my skates on really if I want to make her um, a pair of socks out of that. Especially as I've held on to her Christmas socks till now. Um, yes, I think, think I'm at the end. Think I'm at the end. One of the things I would like to do is I'd like to have a giveaway because... I have noticed that I'm not far off um, a thousand subscribers. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. I loved the March vlogs. I loved um, speaking to people, like getting to know you guys, um, find out what you were doing. It was lovely, really, really lovely. So I've decided I'm going to do a giveaway. Now, I run, ran a make-along last year and I am terrible at put myself forward at um yeah put myself forward 
um, what's the word I want to say? It's, um, no, that's wrong. I, I just get uncomfortable about pushing myself to the front of the queue. Um, so I didn't do the last bit. Um, so I've got some prizes in, in the bucket. So I thought what I'd do is I'd show you over the next few podcasts the prizes that are going to be available. And we'll do a big, give, big giveaway for um, a thousand subscribers. Let me just... So I got stuck in here. Oh, did you see that? I was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> so there is going to be a special edition a special edition project bag look at all those beautiful project uh, beautiful flowers um so it's got stitches and jacks on there so it's like a, a linen linen canvas um beautiful cotton fabric i've put a pom-pom on for a bit of fun um yes yeah, box box bottomed bag i've caught something in there now that doesn't bode well does it Anyway, and it's got a beautiful pink polka dot lining so that's going in the in the bag and with that there is going to be something else I couldn't give you a, a bag without something I thought this yarn would absolutely match beautifully so this is um, a self striping sock yarn and it's the colorway is tutti frutti and it's by Crotty Craig Clegg's Creations so that's going to be the first prize that goes in the bucket. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a good few few things. Um, so I'll tell you how to enter once I've got my crochet one up and my knitting one up. Um, have I got anything else to tell you? Now I get very self-conscious because I'm talking about me. <laughs> um, I think I've talked my the hind leg off a donkey about the socks. Hopefully when I edit this and put it together, it's not going to be too long. There'll be a bit of uh, video footage. I was able to spend some time with the boys um, over the Easter holidays, which was lovely. We managed to get out, um, all of us together, my two daughters and their sons and myself. Um, we went to a um, local bird sanctuary and it's just beautiful there. It is so peaceful and so mindful there you just oh you just forget yeah you just forget um for a little bit of time yeah your woes things that are going on in the world and there's lots of things that are rumbling on but while you're here it's um hopefully just a bit a little bit of relief um and i think on that note my lovies i am going to leave you and hopefully i can put this together in a coherent um amalgamation is that correct <laughs> so until then i will see you again and hopefully it's not going to be too long um a week or a fortnight so we'll see how we go um and i'll see you then bye my lovelies take care of yourselves okay and stay safe bye
Keep it built to the dead. Wow, Benjamin, that's amazing. Amazing. Did you build that? You built a house outside? Benjamin's side. Okay. Benjamin's side. Oh, look at this, it's so pretty. Yeah, Benjamin is just obsessed with these. That's um, sort of teddy that you've got, it was lovely. Yeah, I've got it, bought it out of the gift shop, it comes straight out. We went to the car park and he dropped it straight in the muddy puddle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>